QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Install QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop onto the computer. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. In prior presentations, we went through the downloading of QuickBooks Desktop from the Intuit owner of QuickBooks website and resulted in the installation icon on the left hand side. We're now going to imagine we double click on it, run it, which will result in the software with the icon QuickBooks icon on the right hand side. Now note that we are running the most current version, that being 2023 at this point in time. If you have prior versions of the software, you should be able to move forward with the practice problem. But if you want to restore any of the backup files that we provide, then you're gonna need the latest version 2023. We have the course that we did last year in 2022. So if you have access to the last year information, you could try to use those backup files as well. Also remember that if you're using the free 30 day trial version, then I think at this point in time, they still have the 2022 version available there, but hopefully they will update that shortly to the 2023 version so you'll have the latest version there. This is the installation wizard. If we double click on the installation, it says, welcome to the install shield wizard for QuickBooks Financial Software Pro Plus series. Once again, you might be using like enterprise if you're using the free software that will still be the desktop version of the software and you'll have everything that we're going to be using on it in the practice problem and more so this is the series 2023 so the insta shield uh, wizard will help install quickbooks financial software pro plus series 2023 on your computer to continue click next so we go next then of course it's going to give us a little waiting screen please wait by while insta shield wizard extracts the files needed to install QuickBooks Financial Software. Then we get a screen looking something like this. Welcome to QuickBooks. Complete your QuickBooks installation with just a few steps. Now QuickBooks is a fairly large program, so you wanna make sure that you've got enough space on the computer to be able to handle uh, QuickBooks. For smooth installation, it's a good idea to close any open programs, especially virus protection programs. Now you might be able to still install it without uh, closing your virus protection program but obviously if you have any problems with it that might be one of the things that uh, that's causing a problem once the installer is loaded accept the license agreement to continue so we're going to go ahead and accept this then you've got to enter those numbers now remember there's three ways that you might have gotten the software one you might have used the free version of the software in which case hopefully they're going to they're going to give you the code for this or bypass the screen to be needing those codes Two, you might be buying the software. If you buy the software, it will give you these license codes within the purchasing process. And you want, you want to be able to note that, write them down, save them in some way so that you can enter them when you install them. Or you can go into your account and within your account, you can find these two numbers so that you can plug them in here or you're renewing the subscription because you had the prior version 2022 and now you're renewing it which again in that case you could go to the account if you don't have the numbers still and you should be able to find these license numbers to be plugging in here then we've got the options express recommended this is the installation types replace current version now oftentimes that's probably what most people want to do you probably don't want 2022 version still on your computer you might just want 2023 that could save some some space on the computer and it will lead to less confusions and then when you open up your data files they will automatically be updated kind of like a word document is when you open it into a later version of word for example it will ask you to update it and that's usually a pretty smooth easy clean process but remember that you cannot go 
from a 2023 backup file, for example, to be opened in 2022. And this was always kind of an issue when you're working like with clients, for example, if you're a CPA firm or something like that, you have to keep this in mind because if someone is using a l older version of the software, you can upgrade their file to your file, right? When you, when you use their software or you get a backup, but you can't then use 2023 to give back to them if they have an older version of the software. And this is one of the reasons why QuickBooks might try to be getting people really to, to get onto the subscription model so that everybody has the same version of the software and you don't have that backup problem. That might be one of the issues. But if you are like a CPA firm or you work with multiple companies, a bookkeeper, then, then you might still want the prior software, 2022, for example, on the computer so that you can share files possibly with people using an older version of the software. Now, 2022, I think was a subscription year. That's when they went subscription. So anybody that bought 2022 and forward, you would think they would have the latest version because all they have to do is up, update it, but they still could have older versions than that. 2021, I believe was the last year that you could have a, a single purchase, just purchase the one time and not have a subscription. So you might have people that still have those older versions of the software and you got to, if you're sharing data with them, be aware of that. But then you got the custom and network options, customized location, upgrade and advanced server options. So if you're just putting this onto your individual computer, then you probably the express thing is the way to go. Most easy way, most likely. If you're working in, in a larger uh, business or with multiple partners or something like that, multiple bookkeepers, and you have servers involved, then you might want to in consult your IT professional to help you out with that. Then it's gonna give you the ready to install. So the last check, you got QuickBooks Pro 2023. We are upgrading here from 2022 because we have, I have, this is the version that we're using, meaning we're in the situation that we purchased it in the past on the subscription from the prior year. And now we're upgrading from the prior year version 2022 to 2023. It gives you a recap of your license and your products. It tells you where the location is mapping it on your computer. So if there's any problems with it, that's where the that's where it's going to be. And then it's going to say welcome to QuickBooks desktop. It goes to the installation. This does take some time because again, it's a fairly a large program QuickBooks is. So it gives you the, the little intro screen, organize and track your business finances as it uploads the process. And then again, once it's done, we should end up with the software here, 2023. Now the 2023 software you see here is similar. It's like having the word software rather than the word documents. Remember, we can open up multiple word documents, for example, with one Microsoft Word program. Similar thing with QuickBooks. We can open up multiple company files, but data files with the one QuickBooks program. Now, if you're buying it just for the one company that you are working with, you will then have the company files that you typically open when you open up QuickBooks and it'll try to open that company file, just like when you open the Word document, and it will then ask you, you to update that company file to the latest version that you have now installed, in this case, the 2023 version. So the next steps we'll, we'll be taking a look at is to make sure that we have an understanding of this is the installation software, this is the actual software equivalent to Microsoft Word, for example, in that example, and then we'll have other actual files that we will be opening similar to document files for Word. These will be the data files, the bookkeeping files that we will be using, the actual company files. And then we'll also think about the backup files, zipped files that can be used to restore. And so we got to keep those things straight. We also want to know where those different things are located. We saw the location of this actual file here when we went through the installation process. We also want to know where the location of our data file is, where the locations of our backup files are. We'll talk about them in future presentations. The end.